guys I'll welcome to your love reading this is gonna be for cancer for your August 2023 you can apply this to your Sun moon rising Venus signs uh, so we're gonna take a look at someone that you were dealing with thinking of currently dealing with we're gonna see what this person did to you and then we'll finish off the read to see why this person did it so apply this to your own unique situation you may switch the roles if you want keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If we're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified um, when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, all right? So Cancer, Cancer, talking about Cancer here. The person that Cancer is dealing with, thinking of, was dealing with, what did this person do to Cancer? What did this person do to Cancer? What did this person do to Cancer for August, 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. We have a page of pentacles here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Seems like this person made some big promises here. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is an individual that, you know, saw you someone that's very independent, very attractive, very successful in your business, and your career, okay, and your finances. Uh, we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the King of Wands here and the King of Cups. You know, I almost get a feeling that I feel like this person did all the right things here. Yeah, I, so I don't know if, so I'm not quite sure what happened here. I feel like this person was really passionate about you, really excited or just really attractive in love with you here. I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that really seemed like they did the right thing here let's see page of pentacles here we have the two of pentacles here the hierophant here i mean this person could be that person that was really busy at work perhaps they didn't really give you a lot of attention they were juggling a lot here maybe this person juggles multiple jobs maybe this person works a nine to five and then this person does something else on the side and then this person it has like a little side business or something like that but you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this 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 connection that you're in, or maybe was in, but more so if you're in, in it right now, I feel like it's moving forward very nicely here. So I feel like because maybe this person's working so much, not giving you attention, you know, not communicating with you a lot, I feel like you're getting worried or that you're getting paranoid here, maybe. All right, nine of wands here. We have the Three of Cups, the Magician here, the Four of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you and this person have a really great time hanging out with each other here. And I do feel like this person has deep feelings here for you. This is a soulmate connection here too. We have the King to Queen of Wands here. And then we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus. So this person does see you very highly. This person sees a lot of growth and expansion here with you. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person's doing nothing wrong here. It's just that this person could be really, really, really busy. Uh, and like I said, this person might juggle multiple, multiple things here. And, you know, I, I just feel like this person's doing all the right things here. Um, uh, Empress, Libra, Taurus, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, I feel like this person's not doing anything wrong. So let's see. Tell me about Cancer. Why did this person do this to Cancer? I, I feel like this person is doing nothing wrong here, but let's just see what the cards have to say. Let's see. For August 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Queen of Cups. We have the Kings of Queen of Cups, Kings of Queen of Wands here. This person's definitely pursuing you hardcore. 
Yeah, it seems like this person's not really doing. Uh, yeah, uh, Knight of Swords, Leaper, Aquarius, Gemini, the Queen of Cups here. I feel like this person has communicated with you very honestly. Like, hey, you know what, Cancer? I really like you a lot. I have feelings here for you. I want to hang out with you, but I'm so busy. You know, and the time that they make with you, even even though it's just like a, maybe a five minute phone call or maybe like a one hour coffee break or something like that, they really value that. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Fool card here. So I feel like this person does want commitment here with you, but you might be seeing it as like, oh, this person's non-committal or that they're not interested in me or that they don't like me. But you know, I do feel like this person makes time. It's just maybe not a whole large amount of time. You know, maybe that's a rare thing because like I said, this person works a lot here. Okay, let's see. We have the not this person sees you as their wish fulfillment here, Cancer. We have the three of wands here. Yeah, this person definitely sees a future here with you. So I I don't know, maybe some sort of fear, some sort of insecurity is coming up within you. You can switch the roles if you want. It could be the other way around that you work a lot, and then this person's like the other your person that you're dealing with is worried that, you know, that you don't like them or that you don't like hanging out with them or something like that. But yeah, I do feel like there's a worry that, you know, there could be an ending here because like I said, I feel like someone here definitely is is making time for you. But like I said, it's not a large amount of time because I feel like this person ha like has a lot going on. The Knight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And the, yeah, I feel like this person's doing all the right things here. This person's actually being honest here with you. They really like you. They really want to, uh, you know, be with you they see a future here with you it's just that this person has a lot of time like a lot going on like i said this person could work a nine to five situation if it's not like a like or, or that this person might have like multiple businesses or something like that okay so i feel like when they make that time with you even though it's a little time they really value that time here with you queen of pentacles uh capricorn taurus we're about the lovers here ten of pentacles we have the four of swords yeah things are pretty peaceful the fool card here and the strength card you guys definitely do have a very strong soul tie you guys definitely have a lot of attraction here towards each other and i feel like it's really important for you to be patient or whoever i'm reading for be patient with cancer here because cancer has a lot on their plate and it has nothing to do with you and it's important for whoever is you know going through this busyness here to allow that person to go through their experience to let them do what they need to do and once they're done with it, they could come back to you and it'll be great. Yeah, the four of swords here and the strength card, Leo energy, the nine of cups here. Yeah, you guys are still dealing with this person. There's no, no X situation here, nothing. Uh, three of wands here. There is no like horrible endings here. Uh, we have the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, okay? I mean, I feel like if this paranoia continues, I do feel like this could end because I feel like someone here is gonna feel like they're being smothered here. You, you know, so I feel like it's really important to also, you know, whoever I'm reading for here to focus on your own things here and not worry about the other person too much. I mean, obviously care about them, obviously love them, you know, but, you know, we have our own things to do, you know, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we just can't be on the phone texting all day and calling all day. Uh, you know, there's a time for that, you know, uh, you know, once we get all our stuff done, right? But, you know, a little text here and there to check in is great, you know, but I feel like someone here is definitely expecting too much here. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's nothing going on here. There's nothing wrong here. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with or whoever I'm reading for, this person's being very honest here. So, uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.